Hello, welcome to part two of basic roof construction. In the first part, we spoke about the relationship between angles, pitches and slopes. So what I've done on this little mock-up, I've made a little mock-up of 45 degree roof. Uh, 45 degree roof is what the actual pitch of the roof is. On a 45 degree roof, we call that a true pitch because all the cuts, top cut, which is the plumb cut, is 45, and the bottom cut, which is the seat cut, is 45. The opposite rafter, exactly the same. Top cut, or your plumb cut, is 45, and your bottom cut, or your seat cut, is 45. These two put together, form a triangle. If we were to find the centre of the building, put a straight edge up, this would make a right angle. And this angle down here would be 90. And that's the number we're looking for. So you've got 90. So 45 down here, and 45 up here, equals our 90. Now, to find the length of the rafter, according to the size of the building, or the width of the building, it's very easy. What we do is we measure the width of the building, or the roof plate we're working to. We, divide, we split it into two and put a line in the centre. We then get a bit of material which we're going to use for our ridge and add half to either side of our centre line. We then take a measurement from the outside, play it again to the mark we've made for the ridge, and in this case it's 285. We check the other side to make sure it's the same, which it is. Now we have to do a bit of maths. So our measurement was 285. We have to times that by a formula for a 45 degree roof, which you can find the tables on the internet. So on a 45 degree roof, the formula to find a length is 1.414. So we simply times 285 by 1.414. And that figure comes out to 402.99. So we just round it up to 403. So right now we know that all of these rafters are 403. We call these common rafters because they're a repeat of each other, so it's just the name, common. So that's how you find the lengths of your rafters and what they do, forming a right angle. And this is what gives you the strength of the roof. Now, this is called a gable end. If we wanted to do a hip roof, What we would do, it's pretty much the same process. We've already found out the length of our commons. They're 403, the total length, and that's from point to point. To set out for the two hips, what we need to do again is measure the centre of the building, come back half thickness of your ridge either side of the centre line and take a measurement from the corner of the plate back to the side of your ridge line which is 285 check from the other side is 285 the first two common rafters back off the front plate need to be the same 285 
and 285. And we now know that both of these corners, when this next raft goes in, these will be perfectly square. There's one more measurement we need to find the length of our hip. And what we do, so we measure from the edge of this rafter back to the line, inside line we mark for our ridge. So I measure that now, and that is 400. Check the other side, from the edge of the rafter to the edge line of our ridge, again it's 400. So the first rafter we put in when we're forming a, a hip end is another one of our common rafters, which is the same length as all the rest. Uh, and it was 403. So we've got one here, we'll put that in. Got to glue it because I can't use it now. That goes up against the ridge. Just like that. And that causes, that creates a junction What, where our hip goes into that corner and then ends up coming down onto the corner of the plate. Now the hip is going to be a different length because it's got to travel further. It's going to have to travel from this corner down to this plate, which is longer than the length of our common rafters. So what it'll do this rafter will come down because if it was to go up at the same pitch as the, the other these uh, rafters here, these 45s, it'd end up too high. So we have to drop the pitch down. And on a 45 degree roof, the hip rafter pitch is 35 degrees. And you can find that on most roofing squares. It converts it for you. Uh, if I show you uh, the one I use, I've got all, all the marks along the outside for my common rafters. And then on the inside, I've got the marks for my hip or valley rafters. So we know this is a 45 degree hip or 45 degree roof. So I slide the arm up to 45. Now if I slide across to the common rafter, that tells me it's 35 degrees. So now the hip, because we know it's 35 degrees, as we discussed before, the top cut will be cut 35. The bottom will be different. The bottom will be 55 because we're always aiming for 90 to make up 90. So 35 and 55 gives us 90. The other thing with the hip rafter is at the top, as well as it being cut at 35, we have to cut two, we call it a compound mitre. And you have two 45s cut either side. of your plum cut that so it can sit tight up into the corner of your two commons okay so earlier on we took a measurement from inside of each rafter and that measurement was 400 and we're going to use that measurement to give us the length of the hip 
you could physically measure it with just the tape if it's a small roof but on big roofs sometimes you've got to climb up there put a nail in hang your tape off the nail and try and keep it straight while you take the measurement this is just an easy way of doing it you measure from the inside of each rafter that have been set out right from your corners so anyway so we've got 400 is the measurement we took and there's another formula for the 35 degrees because we know the hips going at 35 degrees so what we do is we get 400 it's the measurement we took from corner to corner we use the 35 degree formula which is 1.221 so what we do is we times 400 by 1.221 and that gives us a measurement of 488.5 so we just round it up to 490 and that is the measurement let me just check that yeah that measurement at 490 is from this point you can see it there to the longest point and that slides into these corners into the two top rafters and then back onto the plate we stick that in So there you go. So I'll show you how to set it out. This is the common rafter. And this is the same as all your other common rafters, same dimension. Your hip is 35 degrees. And I've shown you how to find the length, the uh, measurement, the length of it by measuring from this rafter across to this one which will give you the length for your hip. Now to infill in between the common rafter and the hip. So your common rafter and your hip, you have to now start cutting, diminishing jack rafters. And these come in four or six hundred centers these are probably easier to measure physically but there are formulas depending on the distance you're going to space them where they go anyway so these jack rafters we now convert back to 45 degrees but on the top cut you have to put a compound mark on it at 45 degrees because as the rafter goes in it sits on our bottom plate and it also has to sit up snugly against our hip rafter which is running at 45 degrees to your common rafter so that's how that works I'll put that in. These are normally cut in in pairs. A bit more glue. And they sit up snugly on the hip. And like I say, they, they, they're diminishing, so you, your first one will be up here and they shorten as you come down the hip, depending how many you need to put in. And then the other side, the other rafter, another jack, opposite the first jack you put in. Again, it's 45 degrees, 
and it should sit snugly on your hip. And that is basically how you set out for a hip, hip roof. You can see the top junction goes in between your two commons. And as you come down, you see your jacks cut at 45 degrees. And they also go back down to the plate. And that is basically it. Obviously, when you look on this plate, on a full size roof, these rafters would come down further to take your fascia and soffit and you'd have a bird's mouth cut at the bottom to sit over the plate. I'll show you how to do that in part three, where we'll go outside and we'll cut a proper little roof and I'll go through all the steps again and hopefully you'll be able to go and cut your own roof. Anyway, Thanks for watching and uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Cheers.